हेलो हेलो हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो प्रॉब्लम थ्री एंड फोर ऑफ टूडेज वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट ऑलरेडी लाइव ऑन चैनल यू कैन जस्ट राइट द प्रॉब्लम नेम और प्रॉब्लम नंबर बाय आर एन मिथिल वीडियो और राइट दिस बाय आर एन मिथिल वीडियो ऑलवेज सो इन दिस इट्स सिंपल अगेन वील डिस्कस बोथ ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम थ्री वन टू वन एंड ऑल्सो थ्री वन टू जीरो विच इज द इजियर वर्जन ऑफ दिस सेम प्रॉब्लम we will use the exact same code right and we'll just remove one portion and that's the answer for 3120 it simply says that we are given the string word and a letter c is called as a special if it appears both in lower case and upper case in the word so a letter it should be both in lower case as well as upper case then that letter is a special letter so basically we can say A is a special letter because it occurs both in lower case upper case. B is special; it occurs both in lower case upper case. C is special; it occurs both in lower case and upper case. Answer is three. Same way, I can say and simply say, okay, B occurs both the times, so it should be special. Okay, A occurs both the times; it should be special. So ideally, you have two special characters, but the answer is zero. Why is that the case? It is the case because the problem simply says one more thing. Every occurrence of lower again, ma make sure to focus on this bold character which is every. Why are these balloons? Bold character which is every. So every lower case occurrence of a character C should appear before the first upper case occurrence of C. So I should make sure that every occurrence of the lower case character it should be okay. Let's say B here then. The first occurrence of the upper case character it should be after all the occurrences of lower case character, which means my B should be my B cannot be here. The first occurrence of B it should be after all the occurrences of the lower case character, right? And the same way, if my A is here, my A cannot be here. It should be after this after all the occurrence. I have only one occurrence, but after all the occurrences of this lower case letter, which is. It should be here. Like it can be anywhere, but post my small, a. post my small a. This is what I have to do. So if I summarize again, I'll do exact same stuff. Primarily, if you go and look back, what you have to find is that you will have to find the last location of a specific lower case English, lower case English alphabet. So okay, there are few things. Last location. Right. Another is lower case English. Again, I have only English alphabet, so it's a lower case, upper case. So I can simply say lower case. I can simply say lower case. So I want to find the last location of a lower case English alphabet. Again, if you don't know, they are from A to Z. They are from A to Z. Again, a sky value starts from number ninety-seven. Cool. Then what we want? We want to compare it with the first occurrence of again it is the first occurrence or i should say first location of upper case english alphabet first location of upper case upper case are a to z again for the simplicity a starts from 65 they have a difference of 32 some things which you should remember as kind of value starting right you should remember it's a good thing which help which can help you in future So I should make sure that for all the all the good valid all the good valid pairs, as in I will have to now again I have to firstly make sure that I will iterate on all the characters from let's say A to Z. Firstly, I will make sure that okay A should be present okay that I, I will make sure okay lower case. Character, let's say C H again. My C H will iterate from A to Z. My lower case character should be present. My upper case character should be present, and also I have to make sure that the lower case location, the lower case, or I should say the upper case first location, the upper case location. Again, this is the first location. I will make sure it is the first location. It should be more than my Lower case last location, lower case last location. If these satisfy, then that is a good alphabet. 
then that a again that a i can just simply say uh, upper case a lower case a, both are same so a is occurrence for me either upper case or lower case so that a is a good so i can just push that in my answer i can say i will increase my answer by one so this is what i have to maintain now simple thing how i will maintain the lower case occurrence after i have just maintained that if i have seen this character i have seen this lowercase a or not or lowercase b or not or lowercase c or not i have to make sure i have seen this uppercase a uppercase and so on and so forth then i will have to maintain the last location so the first location of uppercase and the last location of lowercase so location says the index location is the index so i'll simply make sure i will have two vectors saying lower saying lower vector and saying upper vector i know the lower vector itself can have a size of 26 because it will just store 26 characters but i know that if i will if i will say 26 characters but the characters if i just put them as integers it will start off from 97 onwards so i will make sure i will convert all the characters to my integers which means if I say, okay, it's a lowercase character. So I'll just say CH minus A. That will give me the number for this lowercase character. If I have uppercase character, I'll say CH minus A. It will give me number of the uppercase character. So now I will come back and say, I'll initialize my both lowercase and uppercase index. Oh, this array by minus one. Minus one simply says default value because I'm about to store the indexes in these arrays i am about to show indexes in these arrays i will say 26 and minus 1 same for uppercase simply a vector again you can take unordered map also it's up to your wish but vectors are fast why they are fast because they have consecutive memory space taken in the actual like your memory they take consecutive spaces that's reason they are fast hash map or unordered map they take any space which are randomly available for them Okay, so this will, this, now this worked two things. This simple stuff worked on two stuff. Like this simple vector, it can help me on both the task. First task is to find, again, for lowercase, I will keep on updating the character. For lowercase, I will keep on updating the character location. Which means, I will simply, firstly, in the very beginning, I will iterate on all the characters. Let's say auto character in my word. Now, as I have, as I got a character, I will check if that character is a lowercase letter or not. So if it is, is lower, is a, it, it, it's a function in C++, it's a function, is lower character, which simply says that if this character is a lowercase character, character or not, if it is, if it is, then firstly, I should update and say that lower of that character. So I have to pass in the index will be character minus A. To convert that to a number, I will say its index is i, right? Okay, it's an it's an index is i, and then else which means it's uppercase. So I will say upper of ch, ch minus a, it will be i. Okay, done. Now I'll ask you, is this correct? Is this correct? Uh, what? Okay, if this entire loop is iteration, if the entire loop iteration is done, what this will store? Ultimately, what this will store? This will keep on overriding if something of, let's say, a small a comes, small a comes, small a comes. So every time a small a, again, I have to read it on the integer itself. So let's take it as int i is equals to 0. i is less than verse dot size. And then i plus plus. Right? And then character ch is actually my equal to words of i. What, what this is happening? This is happening, it is updating my lower case occurrence of that character it is updating again and again again and again again and again ultimately in the end it will actually be this this thing for a specific character it will be storing the last index at which i found this and that's what i wanted i wanted the last occurrence of a lower case letter okay it's correct but uppercase also also it is the same thing uh, i did not wanted uppercase to have the last occurrence for uppercase i should have a first occurrence which means I should update this uppercase occurrence only the first time I see it. How to know it's the first time or not? By default, the value was a minus one. So I simply have a check. Else, else if, else if 
सिंपल एल सिफ एल सिफ दी अपर केस ऑफ दिस स्पेसिफिक करेक्टर सी एच माइनस ए इफ दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन इट इज अ फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर दैट अपर केस करेक्टर इफ दैट इज अ केस ओनली देन अपडेटेड as soon as it is updated it will actually be having a value of i and not minus 1 so next time even if a comes in it will never be updated so this is the first occurrence this is the last occurrence okay when this portion is done now my simple task is to check these three things for all the characters so i will simply have an answer let's say int answer saying how many number of characters are there which follow this then i'll go on then i'll go on and iterate on all the characters now character for me are actually i have to iterate on all the characters which are right now for me as an integer form so i'll iterate on all the characters saying integer 0 to integer less than 26 and then integer plus plus again these are characters in the integer form from 0 to 25 then i'll simply have a ask that okay firstly i have to check both the occurrences should be present and and if yes then the upper case occurrence should be more than the lower lower case occurrence so firstly if my lower of ch again this ch is an integer right so no worries at all if that is not equal to minus 1 which means lower is present okay and then i will check okay if upper of ch if it also is not equal to minus 1 which means upper is also present and then my upper of my ch should be more than my lower of ch if that's a the case then it's a good thing it's a good thing so i should increase my answer plus plus and ultimately i have i can simply return my answer return my answer and that is how you simply solve it code is exactly simple exactly same as what i showed you i will have a lower case and upper case vectors i will go on to all the characters of my array character i will check if it's a lower case character then update my lower case with the index it will keep on updating the index at as it keeps on going then i will go on and check if it's a upper case okay for sure else will a upper case but upper case only update if you are encountering it for the first time so if the upper case is minus 1 which means it's the first time for that upper case then uh, you will update the upper case to the index now you have both lower and upper case upper case for the first occurrence lower case for the last occurrence now go on and initialize your answer number of good occurrences go on to all the characters but they are in the integer form right now check if the lower is present upper is present and upper is more than my lower then i am good to go and increase my answer and simply return the answer time conversely simply nothing but you go on to all the characters of the word so this is o of n time this is o of 26 time so time is nothing but o of n plus 26 it is nothing but o of n space it is constant because you are you have just used two constant space of size 26 so it is o of 26 into 2 which is o of 1 this is your first most optimal answer right for the first question what is the next question next question which is 3120 it simply says that bro now exactly same stuff a letter is called special if it appears in lower case and upper case in my word i'm not concerned about okay my upper case should be after all the occurrences of lower case no just the occurrences is more than enough for me so if i paste the exact same code i should just remove the comparison of lower case and upper case which means upper case was again if you remembered i had a comparison here as you can see i had a comparison upper case should be more than lower case simply it says that don't need this i don't need this so i'll simply remove this i'll simply remove this so i'll simply achieve a value by simply removing that i'll simply have copy paste the exact same code again you don't need this if condition also right because you just want occurrences but yeah still i copy paste the exact same stuff and that is your answer exact same stuff just removing this portion which i had comparison one and that's how same time same space and that's how you solve it cool again if you have any doubts go and join the discord channel in which contest discussion we have and many other discussions of development code forces code shift and lead code and again uh, go and check out any other problem on discord bye take care